Hey, what's going on there guys? Today we are covering how you can set up and install Velocity. If you guys don't know what this is, basically it is an advanced uh, fork of Bungie Cord, not as in the simplest terms. Uh, so it has a lot more features than Bungie Cord, better security, and it is, as you see, blazing fast. But before we get into that setup process, today's video is brought to you by SilverCity.net. This is the Minecraft network that is geared for a unique skyblock experience with monthly island top payouts and a lot more other features so let's go ahead and roll the clip So a few things to be aware of though before you start making a velocity sliver and that is what uh, these like first like five minutes are going to be about basically covering some things you need to be aware of before you start making this. So essentially as I mentioned this is basically a proxy where you can connect multiple servers and it does work with paper, sponge, forge, and fabric which is pretty cool uh, but there are a little bit of limitations for that. It also does support 1.7 through 1.17 for your client compatibility. So uh, you can go ahead and just uh, download that and we'll download it a little bit later but there's a few things I need to uh, make you guys aware of. So First, we're going to be going into server compatibility. So, you know, vanilla servers, uh, typically you can't connect them, so it does suggest you use fabric using this fabric uh, light mod. So, it does work with fabric, which is pretty cool. And then moving down the line, a spigot. I uh, don't recommend using spigot anymore, especially for, uh, you know, basically 1.15 and above. Uh, just go stick with paper because it is, runs a lot better, has more optimizations that you can do with this. Uh, however, there is a specific forwarding method which we will cover uh, once we start configuring our velocity proxy. If you're using a 1.13 and above, there's a certain type of forwarding, or if you're using 1.12 and below, then you can use a legacy bungee cord style, basically like default bungee cord um, setup, or you can use something called bungee guard, which uh, has like a built-in system to it, which we will cover here in a second. So it also does work with Sponge Vanilla, and then we also have Fabric here, and then you can install this Fabric Proxy, which is pretty nice. So uh, if you are running some type of Fabric server, so you can actually make it run using your Velocity, which is pretty cool. Here is one thing to be aware of. If you're using Forge 1.13 and above, currently it is not compatible with Velocity, uh, but there are um, a work in progress, but there's no estimated time of when that might be completed. However, if you're using 1.7 through 1.12, that actually does work using your specific uh, legacy uh, proxy forwarding method. For example, if you're running RLCraft uh, that is using 1.12.2, you can put it up in your Bungie Core network uh, so you can support modded servers. 
However, it does not uh, really support those hybrids. So for example, uh, moist uh, or magma, which does allow like paper to be run with forge. Uh, it does not currently support that, um, but there might be some workarounds that you could find, but officially uh, Velocity does not support that. Uh, so that's basically your server compatibility. And a few more things to be aware of is that this only works with Java 11 or above. So make sure if you're running it on your host, they have Java 11, which typically most do. And then the final thing to be aware of is that it does not support Bucket or Bungie plugins by default. It requires its own velocity style. So if we go to LugPerms here, as you see, you have your Bucket and Bungie cord. So they also have velocity. So whatever plugin that you're looking to run on your proxy, make sure it has its own velocity one, uh, or else it will not work with just a Bungie cord. So I'm actually gonna download this because we'll need that in order to uh, run a few commands and to give permissions. Uh, so if you need to find your velocity plugins, you can come over to this forums page and here is a big list of various uh, plugins that will work for a velocity proxy. So for example, here is the slash server basically allows you to essentially just type your server command, which is pretty helpful. Uh, so I'm actually going to download that. In this video, I'm just going to be covering the latest versions using uh, the modern forwarding method, but make sure you read down here for this section. Essentially, you can use the bungee guard if you're trying to use the legacy forwarding method. And then there's a forwarding secret, which you can put in the section in the bungee guard configuration. Um, just come here and read it or just ask in their discord because uh, I won't be covering that. So let's go ahead and get started with setting up our own velocity server. Whatever you're hosting on doesn't have downloads, you can just go to the downloads folder and you can download the latest stable version. Uh, currently, I am on Soul Node. If you guys need a Minecraft host, be sure you check it out. Link down then in the description. And you can use Code Striker to save 15% off your purchases. When you do buy a proxy with Soul Node, you can select it at checkout or you can come to your versions page here. And here is Velocity, and you can go ahead and install it. So I already installed it, so I am good to go. So we can go ahead and start up. Make sure you are using Java 11 or higher, and everything does look like it loaded successfully. So we can go to our file manager, and we can go to our Velocity uh, configuration right here. So by default, if you're using a host that is running Pterodactyl, uh, you don't need to change this at all because it's just going to automatically bind to your specific default uh, IP and port. Um, however, if you're using on a different host, uh, typically you'll just put in your specific IP right here. So you would just copy your uh, base IP address and put it in here. But and it is just best to ask your host uh, which uh, one you need to do. So here we have our basic MOTD. This is what's going to be di displayed when players first ping your server. So I'm just going to change this. Uh, we'll customize it a little bit more. We'll just say striker a server. There we go. Here you can uh, set your max players. I'm just going to leave that to true. So here is if you want your whole network to be online or offline mode. Basically, if you want authenticated players or just cracked players, you can set it there um, and then I'm just gonna leave this default so you can change this if you want to that is up to you uh, but here is the most important part is your specific forwarding method as we noticed earlier you have your legacy bungee guard and modern so I'm gonna be using modern because I'm using 1.16 or above. So I'm gonna just gonna paste that in here. If you're using bungee guard, as I mentioned, uh, you can actually just uh, set this forwarding secret for the bungee guard. But of course, if you need help with that, just go ask in the discord because I'm not gonna be covering that in this video. And one more thing about this is that if you're running a mix and match of like, let's say 1.12 or 1.16, this forwarding method has to be the same on all your servers. So you can't mix and match it. So it has to be either one or the other. So if you had a 1.8 and a 1.16.5, I would recommend you just use the bungee guard method. Uh, that way it covers all your expanses of your servers uh, but for my case everything is 1.16.5 so that's why i'm choosing modern so make sure you cannot mix and match this uh, so make sure you select one that will cover 
for all your server instances. Uh, here we have our forwarding secret and this is what we're going to be adding a little bit later so we don't need to touch that right now. Here we have our velocity uh, ping pass through. Currently I have it disabled and so I'm going to keep it like that for now because I want the MOTD and the ping to be registered for our specific velocity server. And then here you can see the various descriptions of what it does. So I'm going to leave that the same. Next we have our important piece is our servers. And so currently I have a hub server, so I'm just going to change this to hub. And I also have a bedwars server. So I'm going to type bedwars in there. Now we can go ahead and input the specific IP addresses of those servers. So here is my lobby. So I'm just going to copy that and we'll just paste in the IP address right there in between the quotes. Here is my bedwars server and we're just basically doing the same thing and for more uh, servers that you need just go ahead and just copy and paste it and then you're good to go. Here we have our try. So this is pretty cool because uh, if a player tries to join let's say the lobby and it goes offline you can set up multiple servers that they'll automatically be connected to or if they get kicked from the server it will send them back to a specific one. So that's pretty nice uh, to be honest. If you want to add multiple in here you can just put a comma and then quotation marks and let's uh, use our bedwars server so we can just do bedwars. And if you want multiple just do comma and then you like server name right there. Uh, so that's how you would add multiple and I kind of like a prior priorities list and I'm just going to remove factions because I don't have that. Here you have forced hosts basically. Um, this A very good example is that if you have a big server network and multiple game modes you could uh, do each one to that specific game mode. So say you had a fire and an ice skyblock server so you could do like fire and then this would be your domain.com and then that would send to your fire skyblock server and that's how you would set that up. That's usually how you see it used in application style but um, I don't have any forced hosts so I'm just going to remove that section. Here we have some advanced settings for your timeouts and everything. Uh, you don't really need to worry about this unless you want to change it but it's pretty much good by default. Uh, here if you want your query enabled you can set it up with that as well uh, but everything else is pretty much the basic stuff so uh, that's pretty much everything within your velocity and now we can configure our back end servers so here we are on our lobby and we'll be going to our bedboard server but we need to set our offline mode and then configure our forwarding secret uh, so i want to be going to your server.properties file and we need to go online mode and we need to set that to false, all right? So make sure online mode is set to false. And then on our Bedwars server, same thing, go to server.properties, and we need to check for online mode, and we need to set that to false, all right? So make sure you save those. Next, what we need to do is we need to go into our file manager, and we need to uh, go to our paper.yml. And if you don't have this file, that means you need to uh, be using paper or paper spigot, paper MC. Uh, basically, you just need to be running paper and you'll get the paper.yml. And here you can scroll down a little bit and we're gonna be going to our velocity support. This is what we need. Or you can just do control F and then you can type in uh, velocity and that will show you right there. Here we need to enable that because we are running velocity and this online mode represents what you have set in your uh, velocity config. So this, as long as this is online mode true, then this would need to be that the same. And then the secret is what we have for the secret in this forwarding method. So I'm just gonna head and copy that and you just need to paste it in there. So there we go. That is what basically all you need to do. <clears throat> and that's gonna be your security aspect for your velocity. So I went ahead and actually copy this and you can paste this to all your servers that are running paper. So I'm gonna hit and save that. And we need to go to file manager again, paper.yml. And I'm gonna search up for <coughs> velocity and there we go. And we can go ahead and paste that in and there we go. That is the secret that we're gonna be using for all our servers. So make sure you save all the contents of each one and then we actually need to restart all our servers again. So make sure we restart that, go to console, restart our bed wars, 
And last but not least, make sure we save our velocity file and we can restart our server as well. Oh, we got an error right here. Fallback server lobby is not registered. Uh, so we actually need to change that because I did change that to hub. So we need to change this to hub as well. Make sure those name matches. So that's all the error was. And we can go ahead and start this back up and we shouldn't have any issues anymore. So let's go ahead and wait for a second, starting these up and there we go, perfect. So now we, we can actually join and all our servers are good to go as well. So so we can join with our uh, specific proxy IP address, which is right here. So let me bring up Minecraft and we'll add a server and your specific velocity. And there we go. So there is our ping and uh, we can set up an image on the, uh, on the proxy as well. But And just like that, you have joined successfully on your proxy. So if we do slash server, as you see, we are currently connected to hub. And then uh, just to verify our bed wars is working, Perfect, so we are now on the bed war setup as well. And we, of course, we can go back to the server uh, server hub there, and perfect, everything is working successfully. So I wanna do one more thing, show you guys how you can set up your specific proxy uh, plugins and permissions. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. So as I mentioned before, these plugins for Velocity must be made specifically for Velocity. You can't use Bucket or Bungie Cord plugins. As I said, uh, Luckperms has its own Velocity, so uh, we already downloaded that. So all we do is basically the same thing. We can just upload it to our Minecraft server and it's gonna upload there and that should be good. And if we check our console here, as we can see Luckperms and uh, Slash server have been loaded. So if we go ahead and refresh the page, there we go. And here's our Slash server. We can go to config and the main one, it's just gonna be uh, server hub and here's the commands, hub, uh, etc. So you can pretty much just copy and paste this. So whatever server name here, we can go ahead and make a new line. If we have bed wars, we can do bed wars. We can do BW and bed wars and there we go and uh, now we can actually join the game I'm gonna restart it one more time so we have joined back the game if we do LPV as we see here is our luck perm so the V stands for velocity but everything else is pretty much the same and then you need to give access to use all the permission nodes so that is what you would do uh, through the council and then of course you just set up luck perms like normal uh, like you would for any type of server but using the the V on on the very end there uh, and then we can check if we do slash bw there we go it does work for a slash server we can do slash main and there we go it teleports us back to the lobby so that is how you uh, do the plugins and that's pretty much it with setting up your velocity server hope you guys did enjoy make sure to join their discord if you need more extra help but other than that i will see you guys in the next video peace out